Hey, I had a request for a step-by-step -step instructional video to download SP Blitz. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go straight there, go to brenozar.com. Uh, you go to scripts, and as you can see, SP Blitz is listed here. Then you're going to have to plug in your email. So this is the only thing that Brent asks for. He's going to ask for your email so that he can communi communicate with you going forward. So I'm just going to type in my email here. And you select what you want. So in this case, I want the first responder kit. I'm already on his email list, so I don't need any of this other stuff. And you're just giving permission for some marketing. So as you can see, there's a direct link to the zip file for the first responder kit, which actually includes several scripts in addition to SB Blitz. So we're just going to click on the link to download it. Then I'm going to go to that folder. And this is the uh, the contents of the zip file. So as you can see, SP Blitz is listed here. There's several other of the scripts that we can talk about if you guys have questions, but this is what we're interested in right now. So I'm going to open that up. And as you can see, it's just a store procedure. And I'm going to go up to the top here. By default, it gets installed in whatever database your context is set to. So in my case, I've got these, these databases on my server. So I'm going to choose SSTS admin, which is an administrative level database that I have on my server. And all I'm going to do is run this procedure. And then it gets installed in that database. So I'm going to go down to the procedures. And as you can see, there's SP Blitz installed right there. And then you can actually just run it after that point. So again, make sure your database context is set to wherever you installed it. So in my case, SSTS admin, I'm gonna put that up here just so it's clear. So it's running right now. Um, shouldn't take too long since this is just a real small server I've got running here. Not much going on. We'll give it a couple seconds. And there you go. So now you've got your uh, findings from SP Blitz. And they're categorized. So you got findings groups. So backup, we've got reliability, performance, file configuration, reliability, file configuration. So all you do is go through these, you know, in this case, there's about 50 rows of information. If you get some, some sort of a finding that you see that uh, you want to dig into, there's actually URLs that you can go to and paste into your browser to dig into the details. And in some cases, I'll show you how to fix it, give you some commands. So very useful. That's it. Oh, one other quick tip I wanted to give you guys is that what I like to do with these is I like to take the information out and just bring up Excel and dump the information in there just so that I have it recorded. Uh, you can just put the date on here you ran, you know, what server you ran it on in the tab. You can name the spreadsheet that way. And you can keep a history of them going forward. You could just dump the next time you run into another tab of the spreadsheet and keep track of what's going on. So just a quick little tip on how to record the information. Okay, I hope that helped. Um, so anybody who had questions on how to actually get SP Blitz downloaded and installed and run, there you go. So hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Comments are welcome. And more questions are certainly welcome. Thanks, guys.